Hip Fig Travel Channel offers DIY travel video guides for more than 25 cities in Asia, US, and Canada. If you like this video, then subscribe, give us a thumbs up, or a comment. Welcome to Hip Fig's Travel Guide series on Phoenix, Arizona, USA. In this travel guide for Phoenix Public Transportation, we're going to share our own experiences and provide tips for getting around Phoenix using Valley Metro, light rail, and buses. Watch this Phoenix Public Transport Travel Guide till the end to get the information you need to get around Phoenix. Valley Metro operates the light rail and public buses in the greater Phoenix area of Maricopa County. Hey, did you know that Phoenix Valley Metro Light Rail adorned $8 million worth of local artwork, which is divided among each of its stations? Make sure to check them out as they reflect the community around the station. Phoenix Valley Metro Light Rail, also called the Valley Metro Rail, is a 26-mile electric rail system which links the cities of Phoenix, Tempe, Mesa, and Phoenix Sky Harbor Airport. The light rail operates one line east and westbound, mostly in the center of major streets in Phoenix. There are also 35 stations along the line. You will pay for your fares at vending machines which take cash and credit cards. If you're using cash, use denominations $20 or less. Vending machines are located at the entrance of each platform. You must buy a ticket before crossing the paid line of the platform. The Valley Metro light rail is inexpensive and affordable. When we checked it in early 2019, tickets cost $2 per ride no matter the distance. The cost of an all-day pass is $4. The cost for students, adults, and disabled are reduced by almost half. They also offer 7-day, 15-day, and 31-day passes. The hours for Valley Metro Rail from Monday through Thursday are generally from 4.40 a.m. at the end of the line stations. The last full trip of the day begins at 11 p.m., arriving at the opposite end of the line at midnight. The service on Sunday begins at 5 a.m. The service on Friday and Saturday night are longer. The last full trip begins at 2 a.m., arriving at the opposite end of the line at 3 a.m. on Saturday and Sunday morning. Trains arrive every 12 to 20 minutes. You can also connect to Valley Metro Rail from Sky Harbor Airport by taking the Phoenix Sky Train and exiting at 44th Street, Washington Street Station. The Valley Metro Light Rail also includes stops at the Phoenix Art Museum, the Heard Museum, Chase Field, Talking Stick Resort Arena and Tempe's Mill Avenue District. Valley Metro Buses As in any city, Valley Metro buses cover most of the city of Phoenix and surrounding areas of Maricopa County, Arizona. There are four kinds of buses, the local, the express rapid, neighborhoods, and rural. Valley Metro local and neighborhood buses are the most useful to visitors. Route 56, for example, is good if you want to get to the Desert Botanical Garden, Papago Park, and Phoenix Zoo. Route 0 is good to get to the Heard Museum and the Phoenix Art Museum in downtown Phoenix. Route 50 or 72 is good to get to the Central Scottsdale Fashion Square. Another type of bus that's helpful to visitors are the neighborhood circulators which loop around the same neighborhoods and are usually free with a few exceptions, but the cost is usually minimal. Circulator buses are usually a little smaller, such as the Scottsdale trolley serving Scottsdale area and the Dash circulator serving downtown Phoenix. Use Valley Metro Trip Planner or Google Maps to help you determine the routes and times. The cost of a ticket on Valley Metro bus is only $2 per ride, or you can buy an all-day pass for $4. You can pay for your fare on the bus with an activated transit pass, or you can pay in cash in exact change. No 50 cent coins are accepted and only one $2 and $5 bills are accepted. Valley Metro offers a free neighborhood circulator to get around Scottsdale called the Scottsdale Trolley. There are four routes with different start and stop times and connect with Valley Metro's transit system. 
The routes are the Old Town Route, the 68th Camelback Route, Miller and Hayden Route, and Mustang Route. The Old Town Route was the most useful to us as the parking can get full in Old Town Scottsdale and there are time limits on parking. We took the Old Town Trolley Route to Old Town Scottsdale, the Art District, Historic Old Town, and Fashion Square, which was helpful because we got tired of walking. We took the Old Town Trolley Route from Fashion Square, which is in front of Nordstrom. The Scottsdale Trolley was easy to take, but full at times, especially as it was nearing Fashion Square. The drivers are like tour guides, very helpful and friendly. Kudos to them! We liked taking the Scottsdale trolley because we didn't have to deal with finding parking and the trolleys ran pretty frequently, which was super convenient. Look for the blue Scottsdale trolley stop signs, which have a map and stop times. The Scottsdale Old Town trolley route runs generally from 10 a.m. to 9.25 p.m. and will come around every 15 to 20 minutes depending on the time of day. The other routes have slightly different times. Check out the city of Scottsdale, or Valley Metro website for more details. Taxis, Uber and Lyft are also available in the Phoenix area. We didn't see many taxis readily available. If you decide to take public transport in the Phoenix area, Valley Metro makes it inexpensive and convenient to get around Phoenix and Maricopa County. Happy travels! Go to hipfig.com for more information or Go to our HipFig Travel Channel on YouTube and be sure to subscribe for regular updates.